What do we know about industrial robots? Usually they look like large hands, it's called manipulators. Typically it's used to move objects, perform welding tasks, painting, etc. But there is a class of tasks which are very difficult for robots to perform. It's so-called non-prehensile manipulation problem. Let us consider an example of grasping manipulation. The robot should take the ball and move it from one shelf to another one. The task, as you can see, is quite simple, but sometimes happens that the object is too big and doesn't fit for a stable gripping, so the robot is not able to grasp the object good enough. It must take into account the internal dynamics of the object and of the interaction. It's not enough to consider the object like a mass point. One of the first scientific work in this field was published by Professor Kevin Lynch in 1998. He considered the a simplified two-dimensional version of manipulation problem and suggested a laboratory setup called the butterfly robot. The setup consists of two parallel plates actuated by a DC motor. A small ball is freely rolling along the plate's border. A camera is used by RT controller to detect position of the ball. The final objective is to find such control input that the ball moves from one predefined point on the plates to another. The ball, of course, must not lose the contact with the plates. The problem looks quite simple, but since 1998 it didn't have a complete solution. What was the key challenge? As we found out, some people considered an excessively simplified dynamic model of the system. They assumed that the ball is a mass point. Other people could try to apply energy-based approach to move the system to an unstable equilibrium point, but they didn't find a complete phase trajectory. We chose another way. We decided to find a feasible motion of the system and apply an orbital stabilization algorithm. Using the virtual holonomic constraints approach and taking into account the reaction force restriction we have found a set of feasible trajectories of the system. The transverse linearization approach helped us to build an orbital stabilizing feedback control algorithm. Thank you for your attention.